Hi, it's Will Ringrose from ADN. It's the 22nd of June with your rape seed market update. So what can we say from the last report? Well, we have to go back to the USDA at the start of the month, which was a relatively bearish report as they increased ending stocks yet again. That pressured prices to begin with uh, through the uh, Friday session. However, on the Monday, the trade very quickly reverted back to looking at the weather market that was developing in the US. Obviously, US soybean planting have just finished. It was all going to be about crop conditions going forward. And with little rain in the Midwest, South, Southeast, in the major soybean growing regions, there were some concerns. Even though there were some rains over the weekend in the Midwest, the rain that fell wasn't as much as first anticipated. That rain has now disappeared. And it, as we head into the South, Southeast over the next four or five days, they are expecting some showers. Although the trade are pretty apprehensive of whether those showers will be enough to improve crop conditions if they receive rain at all. Crop conditions since the first report fell 3%. They've since fallen a further 5% since then, down to 54% good to excellent. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens uh, over the next couple of weeks. Though June isn't really a big month for bean development, uh, if this weather continues into July and early August, then uh, the S&D could change quite considerably. Furthermore, the USDA amended slightly uh, South American production by increasing Brazilian ex expectations and, and decreasing Argentinian expectations, but those expectations still fell far short of the trade expectations that came out earlier in the month. Since the report, uh, the trade have made further changes to their uh, Brazilian crop estimates by increasing uh, Brazil up to 155.6 million tonnes, but decreasing Argentinian production down to 20 million tonnes uh, versus the USDA at 25 million tonnes. So there's still some work to be done in the next report. Oil markets have been relatively volatile recently, especially with what's happening in crude. Obviously, everybody was concerned about what was happening in China as they tried to um, reduce interest rates to instill some market activity. Uh, OPEC obviously increased production to try and stabilise oil prices. Now they're trading within a $5 range, um, but equally uh, that has had an impact on veg oil prices. Veg oil prices have obviously bounced off recent lows, as most commodities have. Uh, however, have struggled in the last 24, 48 hours, given the fact that the EPA uh, announced biofuel mandates for 2023 through to 2026. Now, whilst these mandates were increased versus the last report, they were not as much uh, as the trade initially expected, and as such, Soya oil prices and Malaysian palm oil prices fell very sharply in yesterday's session and are again down in today's session. That has equally impacted on seed prices, whether it be canola or, or Matif rape seed. Uh, we came down off recent highs sharply in the last 48 hours, which again has impacted on farm gate prices. From here on in, well, obviously we've got EU harvest coming up shortly, uh, which we're expected to get a reasonably decent crop. We've still got imports coming through from Australia at a time where we've got a reasonable carryover from the 2022-23 season into the 23-24 season. Added to that, we're not seeing much more demand coming through for oil at the minute, so I think the market seasonally at this time of year will be depressed, but we may also see some additional harvest pressure. Having said that, what's been supported prices recently is, is again the weather market and the lack of EU farmer selling. So if we see a weather market continue and the farmer not coming to the market, that again may support prices in the short term. In the UK, we've also seen additional support from the Bank of England raising interest rates by another half a percent. Uh, that in turn has, has pulled sterling down against the euro from 117 to 116 and, and helped support UK farm gate prices. That's your brief update from me. Thank you very much.